This is IB Physics SL. I am Mr. King. Topic 1. Measurements and Uncertainties. Section 1.2. Uncertainties and Error. When using a tool with a scale, such as a ruler, the uncertainty in the measurement is half of the smallest division. To the best of our ability, we would measure the side of this rectangle to be 6.4 centimeters. And since the smallest division on this ruler is 0.1 centimeter, the uncertainty in the measurement is 0.05 centimeters. We would express this measurement with uncertainty as 6.4 plus or minus 0.05 centimeters. When using a digital device, such as a balance, we use the smallest digit as the uncertainty. Since the smallest digit is 1 hundredth, the uncertainty in this measurement is 0 0.01 grams. We would express this measurement as 5.67 plus or minus 0 0.01 grams. For the purpose of evaluating the quality of our measurements, it's important to understand the difference between precision and accuracy. Precision refers to the consistency of a measurement. Accuracy refers to the correctness of a measurement. So precision is how close to each other a set of measurements are, and accuracy is how close those measurements are to the actual value. Imprecision and inaccuracies are caused by errors in measurement. And there are two types of error. There's random error and systematic error. Some things are inherently difficult to measure accurately, such as the height of a bouncing ball. If you attempted this, you would measure lots of slightly different values. This measurement would have low precision. When something is wrong with a measuring device or method, such as a poorly calibrated balance, every measurement will be inaccurate to the same degree. This measurement would have low accuracy. And of course, both types of error can be present in the same measurement. For instance, if you tried to measure the height of a bouncing ball with a broken ruler. Since we will often be using our measurements in a calculation, it's important to know how to propagate our uncertainties. When adding values with uncertainties, the uncertainty of the sum is the sum of the uncertainties. If we measured two masses on a balance, each with an uncertainty of 0 0.01 grams, then their sum would have an uncertainty of 0 0.02 grams. To generalize, if y equals a plus b, then the uncertainty of y equals the uncertainty of a plus the uncertainty of b. You can find this in our data booklet. When multiplying a value by a constant, the uncertainty is multiplied by the same number. So 2 times mass 1 would give us an uncertainty of 0 0.02 grams. 2 times 0 0.01. And 1 half of m2 would give us an uncertainty of 0 0.005, half of 0 0.01. When we have many trials of the same measurement, it will be important for us to calculate the mean and the standard deviation of those measurements. Mean is average, which is the sum of the measurements divided by the number of measurements. Standard deviation is more complicated. Here's the equation for it. D is the standard deviation. Each of the delta x's is the difference between one of the measured values and the mean value. And capital N is the number of values. When we use the mean value of a set of measurements in a calculation, we'll use the standard deviation as the uncertainty of the mean. When dealing with sample sizes of four or less, standard deviation isn't very useful. In that case, we'll use half the range as the uncertainty. Many times we will be calculating the slope of a graph or the gradient of a graph as written in IB documentation. Our values for slopes have uncertainties too. When we plot our data on a graph, we will include vertical and horizontal error bars to represent the uncertainty in our measurements. There are a range of slopes that fit within these error bars. Our value of the slope is the slope of the line of best fit. 
and the uncertainty in the value of our slope is half the difference between the maximum slope and the minimum slope that fit within those error bars. When propagating uncertainty in calculations more complicated than adding or multiplying by a constant, it is more important to know the percent uncertainty than the absolute uncertainty. As an example, let's imagine that the radius of a sphere is measured to be 2.0 plus or minus 0.2 centimeters. The fractional or percent uncertainty is equal to the uncertainty divided by the value, in this case, 10%. When multiplying, dividing, or squaring, cubing, etc., we use fractional uncertainty to determine the uncertainty of our result. To generalize, if y equals a times b divided by c, then the uncertainty of y equals the fractional uncertainty of a plus the fractional uncertainty of b plus the fractional uncertainty of c. Furthermore, if y equals a to the n, then the uncertainty of y is equal to n times the fractional uncertainty of a. Both of these formulas can be found in your data booklet. That's it for now. See you next time.